Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Forgotten Peak and today I'm coming at you with the highly requested replay editor tutorial. If this helps you out, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and it'll help out the YouTube algorithm so we can get this video to other people. So uh, let's jump right in. Alright guys, first up in this replay tutorial, we're going to focus on the controls and the interface. Um, and then we're going to go into some hitting controls that aren't on the interface. Um, and then we'll move into the moving shots. And then from there, we'll move into stationary shots. And then finally, we'll wrap up the video with some tips and tricks for you guys. Alright, once you land that run that you want to record, what you want to do is just make sure you press pause. Go to the replay editor. I'm just going to press Y to go into the editor and pause it real quick. To go backwards in time, you want to press left on the D-pad. To go forwards in time, you press right on the D-pad. Uh, to start and stop, press A. Uh, to go backwards on the menu, don't press it right now, it's to just press B. We're going to talk a little bit more on how to set and delete the camera points, but use that up and down on the D-pad. Uh, to set trim points is X. Uh, we're also going to talk about that in a bit. And then to hide the UI, you just press both bumpers in. All right, and here's some hidden controls. So if you press right bumper and up and down on the D-pad, this will change your FOV. And if you press the left bumper and use the D-pad, this will move the sun around. We're just gonna leave, leave the sun here. If the controls don't work and you're on the Steam version, just press Shift Tab and press Shift Tab again, come out of the Steam Mail overlay. Sometimes it plays around with the uh, controls and seems to be a little bit buggy, but that's how it fixes it for me. All right, so we're just gonna look at the default timeline here. See how it looks. That's a pretty good job. It's not perfect. Right there, we're gonna have to make an adjustment. And right there, we're gonna have to make an adjustment. It doesn't go on the ground at all, so that's good. So as you can see, kind of gets out of frame on these two shots. The reason why he does that is these black dots represent the camera points. So a camera point is, the camera point is gonna move from this view over to this view here. And as you can see, the rider kind of goes above that movement. So we want to add a camera point in between these two. To fix that, what we want to do is just move the timeline to right where we want the point. Move up our camera. Don't move it around too much or else it's going to move with the camera speed. It's going to look jittery. Just move it up with the right stick. And then what you want to do is press up on the D-pad to set a camera point. And then scrub back in time and we'll test it out. We'll see how that looks. As you can see, kept perfectly in frame. And we could do that again here. So go right into the middle, get them back in frame. And we'll see if this works. Kinda still gets out of frame here. The reason why, as you can see, it's moving from this point here to this point here. And camera here the rider is kind of in the higher end of the shot so what we can do is we can delete this camera point using down on the d-pad and just move the camera up a little bit and then set reset the camera point press up on the d-pad again to set a new camera point and as you can see it's a little bit better it's still getting cut off so we're gonna have to really really look up see we put him the rider at the bottom of the frame now it fixes our problem and the rider stays in shot so let's say we want this clip now this is our this is the end of the clip what i want to do is press x to set a trim point go all the way back to the beginning of the clip press x to set a new beginning point now press a to play and see how it looks Perfect, and as you can see, it restarts back at the beginning and ends where we set those trim points. So to do the stationary shots, what you're gonna wanna do is delete all the camera points. So press down on the D-pad and just delete every single one. And then go back to the beginning, all the way, 
all the way to the beginning and find a good point where you want your stationary camera to be we're going to set up on jump number two and remember how we mentioned field of view we're going to start totally zoomed in all right and then press up on the d-pad to set a camera point here then press play as you can see it's going to move the camera what you're going to want to do is just fast forward all the way to the end Remember where you put that camera's point before. You want to go back to that same exact spot. Or close to it. And since the rider is going to be at the bottom, we want to face it that way. Now, if we rewind the clip, you can see that the rider kind of stays in frame the whole time. Kind of have a stationary shot here. But it's not perfect. So let's just go back a little bit and since this is jump one we'll just choose midway through we'll just set a nice camera point right here and we'll kind of move it down we don't need them at the top because think about where the rider is going to be going in the future and set a camera point there and then rider gets out of frame here so about midway through the jump you're going to want to adjust the new position see how that looks gets out of frame here so let's readjust you kind of want to just make a rough outline for now just a really rough outline doesn't have to be perfect right now we're gonna make all those micro adjustments in a bit so make sure that the rider's kind of staying in the frame at your key points And rewind we'll check out how that looks oh it gets out of frame right there so let's just fix that move the camera up a little bit and rewind and we'll see if that fixes it That fixed it, but our camera point moved back. So let's just delete this point here because we know the temp guy's in frame from here to here probably. So let's just delete this point and see how it looks. Pretty good. But I'm just gonna add in one more point here, make it look a little cleaner. There you go, you have a nice stationary camera shot. And once again, you can set the beginning of your clip. So let's say we want the beginning to be a little bit closer. We'll set X here, press play. And I'd say that's a pretty darn perfect uh, stationary shot for you guys. So one thing, what happens if your camera is doing crazy cuts like that? So that probably means you have your camera speed. The, like your camera point between here and here is way too high. Um, there's, there's no way that your camera can move from this fast to get to here. So in that case, what you'll want to do is just readjust some of your timeline points. So we'll just delete this one here because that should smoothen it out a little bit. Let's see. As you can see, it kind of smoothened it out, but now our rider's out of frame. So you just want to make some a rough outline where you want your rider to be. Nothing too sharp, you know. And that should fix some of your cuts, you know. That one was a little sharp still. That's because the camera point from here to here, the movement was slow. So if we just want to add another point at the beginning, speed up the camera movement a little bit, it'll make it look a little smoother. Rider got out of frame there, we'll add another point. And we fixed our problem.
So let's say now your camera is moving through the ground. How do you fix that? We'll find the point that the camera is moving through the ground. What you want to do is just press up on the right trigger, set a new point, and press up on the D-pad. That'll avoid the camera from going into the ground. Pretty simple solution to your problem. Like I was saying before, you just want to create rough outlines of your rider and slowly your clips will start coming together. For more cinematic shots, you can increase the FOV like this. If you want more action shots, I, I recommend having a zoomed out FOV and then staying really close to the rider. Um, a lot for my edits. I keep it zoomed in though for these cinematic shots. You can really make it look cool though if you want to zoom out and in. Really gives a feel of like a filmer being there, you know, that you're using a real camera. Add some feel to the video. And then if you want to save this replay, if you want to do editing maybe a little later, just press B and press A to save. And you'll see a smiley face come up. And then press X to load, and you'll see all your replays if you want to load them in. You just press A to load them. Then it'll load in your replay with all your timelines. Alright guys, I think that about does it for the replay edit. If this helped you guys, make sure you like um, and subscribe. And yeah, if you have any questions, just ask them down below. I'll make sure to answer them. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.